Hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I am actually pulling a whip or actually a UFO out. Um, this is my cutout fabric for the shop hop that I did last year back July. -ish. And the pattern that we got was called Pretty Poinsettia. Now, I am going to show you the fabric requirements for this. Pay particular attention to this. I need someone to tell me how to read this. So help, please. So my experienced quilters, please look at this. I am going to show you um, what I have. I'm actually going to lay it on the table and turn you down so you can look at it. And then I will show you the cutting instructions because I need help with this. And now I remember why I put this down because their math wasn't mathing at all to me. I don't know how you get 16 half square triangles out of seven pieces of two different colors. That has never math to me how to get 16 out of what should be 14. So maybe y'all can help me. I am going to turn you down and the pinks and reds is really what I'm looking at. And y'all please tell me what these numbers in the parentheses are. Does that mean two different of that color? Or I don't know what it means. I'm thinking it means two different color, two separate patterns of the same color. So please explain it to me. I will turn you down and I will tell you, I'll point out what I'm looking at. I hope I am close enough for you guys to see. This is what I'm talking about right here. These twos, does that mean two separate colors? Because that, I don't understand that. I'm still so new to this, I don't know what that means. Um, so now, seeing that you can see it's telling me two five eight yard cuts of pinks. To me, that means two separate colors or two separate designs of or patterns of colors. Now, what I'm looking at is C and G. This is telling me for this C, so this is out of one cut, five inch by width of fabric, I'm cutting seven five inch squares and two three inch squares. Now, please tell me if I'm going wrong here. The next cut is a different pink. I'm cutting a three inch with the fabric strip and I'm subcutting that into four three inch squares. These are our C's. So I have two separate pinks that are three inches. So to me, that means we have C, we have two here, and down here we have four. So that's only six actually. We have six right there. Down here for G, this is the other color. This is the one we're making a half square triangle with. It's saying subcut seven three inch squares. Now, am I misreading that? I do see here where it says mini total is eight. I don't understand this. I have not figured this out yet. Because if I'm taking subcut two, three inch squares out of this one piece, because I did calculate that up. Seven five inch squares, that's 35 inches two three inch squares that's going to be six so 35 
and six is 41 inches. That is the width of fabric. So then here on this C, I'm subcutting four three inch squares. So that's only 12 inches of this fabric. But then I am subcutting 12 two and a half inch squares, which is 30, 30 inches plus 12 is 42. So that's the width of fabric. So please tell me where I'm, if I'm reading this in correctly. I'm saying I'm only getting two three inch squares and four three inch squares. I'm showing I'm only getting six three inch squares. So, have I lost you yet? I hope not. Okay guys, did that make sense? I'm looking for your help. I want to finish this quilt. I am actually, because I did all of my, my little three inch squares. Somehow I went on and cut out um, seven because I have 14 uh, half square triangles. So somehow I got seven, probably did seven because I have seven of the G's. I don't know. I don't understand how to read all of this. It's not making, it's not mathing for me. So, but what I'm going to do, bring you over here to my sewing machine and we're going to be sewing this. Hope, hopefully I don't lose my mind on it because I remember now why I put this aside was because it was not making sense to me at all. And if I have to cut more fabric, I will. But I really don't want to because I want my pattern to tell me exactly what I'm supposed to do. I mean, and the reason I'm doing this is because I've already, I mean, first off, fabric is not cheap. I bought a lot of fabric for this quilt. Um, I'm not understanding the instructions. So let me bring you down on the sewing machine and we are going to start on, that was clue number three. We're done with three and I actually realized that I missed part of a clue. And I do have a clue number six that is not in here and I know where it is though. It's with my cross stitch. Somehow my clue number six got on the bottom of my, um, my cross stitch that I printed out. So let me see. I think I have all of clue number four done. I've got my snowball units. I've got my quarter square triangle splits. I've got all that done. So we're going to be creating center units. So one moment, I'll get you down on my table, on my sewing machine here, and we will be sewing. Okay, guys, so I am back. I'm going to see if I can turn. What, baby? I got a kitty cat. What? Well, come on. Now, this is one y'all probably haven't seen. This is my big old boy. This is, I call him little one. Oh, and he's, he's all about them scratches, them neck scratches. Ain't that right, baby? They seem to be making appearances more often. Ain't that right, sweetheart? Mm. My little baby. I think he's telling me he wants to go outside. You gonna say hello? Y'all see, this is the little kitty that we rescued him. You see his scars there? Uh, when we, somebody threw him out at our house, and he was just a little bitty tiny thing when we got him. I mean, little bitty tiny. And we didn't know if he was going to make it or not, but he's, he's my oldest cat now. And he's such a sweetheart. Yes, he is. He don't bother anybody. He likes scratches and pets. 
Well, he bothers the outside cats, stray cats. We have out male stray cats. Okay, baby. There you go. Okay, I am back. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to do... Oh, I was trying to cut my light out. There we go. That lightens it up here when I cut the light out here. So... We are going to be taking, now I do have to still look at my cutting instructions because for some reason I took my, my alphabeties off of that. I don't know why. Probably, I was probably using them for something else. But what I will do, now if I have to, I do have these cut i think they are three inches yes they i have these cut into three inches but i don't have any more reds cut into three inches so but it okay so i am to take a pink now i have a bunch of different pinks i have this little bitty flower pink And I have the candy peppermint paint. That's, I'm calling that pink. So we do one of these pinks and a half square triangle. See if it tells me how many that is going to make. Well, it says a mini is going to make eight. And I'm, I think I'm doing a mini. I'm pretty certain I'm doing a mini. I wonder if I should do the peppermints. Cause that'd be awesome. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a peppermint and make sure they're turned right. And now I am going to tell you, I have a tool here that I use when I do have square triangles. I got these little things here. Let me think. They, she's a quilter. She has a YouTube channel. Her name is Fallon. Her and her husband make these. This is a, um, you can square up stuff. It is so nice to have because you get the size that you need. And, and it comes in sets of three. It's not so let's be quilty. Uh, I can't remember her, her thing. If I can remember, I'll add it in my description. So what I'm going to do is continue to make, how many does it say I'm making? We're making a total of eight. So I'm pulling eight of them out. So if somebody can tell me, you know, look at that back at the beginning of the video and study it, somebody please, I need help. Um, because I don't know how to read that. And I know how I had to cut additional fabrics early on in this because, like I said, this is step, what is this, five. This is clue five that I'm doing, and there's six clues. But I do love the colors in this, and honestly, I do not care if they match or not. Um, I'm just going to throw this together because I have another project I want to get on or throw in one of my big boxes. And the faster I can get this one done, because this is going to be, well, it says it's a mini. So that's not going to be very big. So I could probably quilt this one on my machine. And I was just telling my husband the other day I wanted to do a small project so I could learn the quilt function on my machine. And you know, if it's my own quilts, I don't care, you know, if it, if it don't look right. But I want to learn how to do a quilt function. I don't know exactly what a mini is. It may be like a, a coffee table topper, you know. I, do, I don't know. I don't... Let me see if it tells me what size the mini is going to be. A mini table topper, 56 inches by 56 inches. So it is going to be a table topper. So 
56 inches. I may be able to use that on my coffee table at Christmas time. I am hoping that um, this year for Christmas, I'm hoping to have my a family Christmas here at my house. I'm, I'm hoping to do that. Um, I have been speaking with my son today. And he is going to be coming home soon, y'all. I am so excited. This mama heart is so ready for my baby to come home. He, he is my baby. He's my, my last child. I think he's 21. And he'll be coming home right before his 22nd birthday. So, um, I think he, he is about to get out of service. And he told me what he's gonna going to do is take two weeks of leave and and coming in. So and then after his two weeks of leave, he'll be out of the service. I think he's just ready to get home to see his baby because I talked to my I call her my daughter in love. You know, she's my son's wife. And he loves her, so I love her. And she's a good mama to my grandbaby, so I can't ask for anything better. And she's good to my son. I didn't really know her when they got married. And the bad thing is, they were our neighbors for the longest time. But they didn't date while they were in high school, which is so funny. Because apparently... She had a crush on my son in high school. But, um, I know he's ready to get home to see his baby. So, okay, so I have these and I need to do two on the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is take a, I can't remember what this is called, a snowball unit. And I got to see what H is. H is a red. It's a two and a half inch red. Got my two and a half inch reds. These are my snowball units. Make sure that, yep, that's the snowball units. I'm using, I'm actually using um, some scrap fabric I had for this too. Well, it wasn't scrap. I actually purchased it. So it's not scrap. Um, but I think I... I got this like in a bundle and I just thought, oh, that'll work. That'll, that'll be good. It'll work on what I'm doing. So we're going to take our snowball unit and, an eight, and we're doing eight of them. I think I'm going to use a different fabric here. And guys, I am going to have to press my snowball units or... Um, need to be pressed. I now have my snowball units pressed. I know I'm going to have to do my other ones as well. I am pairing these up with some pretty little, I don't know if you can see that, some little, looks like stars. When I first, I will say, when I first started this quilt, I did not know I had a quilt shop in my area. So I went and got my fabrics from Hobby Lobby. Not that they're bad, not saying that at all, but I didn't really have a lot of selections. You know, I mean, I know Hobby Lobby's got a large fabric selection, they do. But I was looking for Christmas fabric. And y'all, I'm sorry. It's going to get dark here. I have to have my light on. I cannot see. And there's no way to dim it any. The lowest I can get is 50%. So I have to have a light to see. I'm sorry if it gets dark. But I can, you know, back here. But I cannot see without it. So, and also, I mean, I was literally brand new at quilting. 
I didn't even know what a shop hop was. This was my first shop hop ever to do. And I purchased quite a good bit of stuff. I learned how a shop hop worked and I learned just how fast you could spend money on a virtual shop hop. That's why I haven't been on any more of them. Because I still have projects to do from the shop hop, hence this quilt. I don't have it done. And I had several other things that I got from the shop hop. And I'm really trying to not add to because I'm getting project boxes that I don't have time to complete. So I'm not trying to add other projects. Now, if something crumbs across and I see it like that old glory, yeah, I'm going to do that. Sorry. I'm just going to do it because that's beautiful. And I'm hoping, 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 I'm not saying this is what's going to happen, but I am hoping I will be bringing y'all along Friday on the finishing Friday. I'm hoping I will be binding that. That is my hopes, wishes, and dreams is to bind that. Come Friday. Which means I'll probably do that on Thursday night. Because right now, I'm recording one day. You're getting the video the next day. Uh, I don't have anything in advance right now. A lot of times now, Sunday is done in advance. And Sunday night or evening, I will do a weekly update for y'all to have on Monday. Um... Because some, day, some Sundays I do come in my sewing room and just wind down and do a project. You know, some Sunday afternoons I, I do that. But I am really going to have to be, I need to get a better schedule. I don't ever get house cleaning done, but I'm not going, I don't. I'm probably not going to complain about, yeah, I'm going to complain about that. Because I'd rather be sewing. But, you know, I do know I need to keep house for my husband. But my husband tells me he don't care. He's like, we could have somebody come in and do it. I don't want nobody coming in my house, cleaning my house. I don't like that. Now, somebody can come mow my yard. I'd be all happy about that one. But right now, I know everybody's mowing their yards around here. And everybody's got such beautiful yards. I can't even walk around my yard to pick up the limbs that fell out in the storm yesterday because my yard is underwater. It, it's still, I, I have to wear rubber boots and where I live is clay. I have the gray clay. I don't have the red clay. I have the gray clay. And um, you can literally lose a shoe in my yard. Because your boot could stick in that red clay. It's happened on more than one occasion for me. But I am hoping to be able to get out there and get into my gardens. I do my garden beds. I actually take old boxes and open them up and lay them between my, my raised gardens because it's too narrow to mow in between them. And I don't want to put rocks over there. I don't want to put wood chips. Um, I don't want to put anything like that over there where my raised garden beds are. And I did have one more stalk of asparagus come up. I don't, see, I, I don't really know how to raise asparagus. I love asparagus. But I don't know how, I don't really know how to raise it. So, while I was out there, I saw I was out there, I popped it and I ate it. I love asparagus just raw. It's, it's very good if you've never, now, out of like Walmart or anything like that, I don't know if I'd do that. But, let me look and see what my instructions say. 
Okay, I am going to go ahead and press right now, and I will bring y'all right back as soon as I have it pressed. I now have my two units done. So now what I need to do is start putting them together. So I need to make sure. And they're going to go together like this. So I'm going to put them here under my machine and I actually press the seams, that middle seam in opposite directions um, because I knew the solid, I pressed it towards the solid just because I knew it would be easier to press towards the solid and I will be pinning. So let me get my pins open here. Y'all will notice that I like to, for my new people, my, my subscribers that have been here for a little while, or my viewers that have been here for a little while, and yeah, if y'all haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I do have some giveaways going on, and you have to watch the videos to know about those. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You do have to be a public subscriber. And I have instructions and videos on what you need to do to be entered into my drawings. And I'm getting close to that 2,000 subscribers. So guys, if y'all are not subscribed, help me get to that 2,000 and we'll do a giveaway, a 2K giveaway, just like I did the 1K giveaway and i already have a bag started i don't know if you can see behind me because it it is dark when i cut this light on it makes everything past the machine dark i don't know if you can see it one second this is the bag that i'm filling up i have some things in here already i'm not going to show them to you they're going to be a complete surprise. There is sewing, quilting, pretties. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of different things in there. So if you want to add to your fabric stash, you want to uh, be a subscriber. I mean, you, you can tell there's going to be fabric in there because I just told you. Add to your fabric stash, be a subscriber. It could be pre-cuts. It could be yardage. Never know. Never know. So make sure to go and subscribe. And if you haven't liked the video yet, please do give me a thumbs up. Uh, the more interaction there is with a video, the more it puts it out there for others to see it. So the more you interact with any video that I put out there, the more people that it, it puts it out there as a recommended or a for you. And uh, that does help my channel grow. And I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I do monetize my videos. That does help me uh, with supporting my channel. And you don't have to do anything but watch the videos. It does help me add, it adds money to my budget for my quilting. Um, this past month, it helped have my three quilts sent to the long arm. Because if y'all know anything about the long arming, um, I do not have a long arm machine and I have not learned how to quilt on my machine yet, even though it does have that ability to do it in a hoop. I have not learned that yet. And these are quilts that I have had done or I just recently got done and I wanted to see them uh, completed because one of them is a wall hanging, one of them is my grandson's baby quilt, and one is a bed quilt. And they're all 
three for, for my home or my grandbaby, you know. So I wanted to go on and just get those done, get them off my plate. I only have two small projects that I need to quilt myself. Um, the, the boo wall hanger or table runner, whatever it is. And the a black and yellow baby quilt that I have. It's like a, a bee, bee themed. And I don't know why I don't go on to get that done because I'm going to sell that that baby quilt because I've already made one out of some of that fabric. I purchased that fabric for a friend to do a baby quilt for a friend and I've already done it and uh, this is some fabric that was left over. So I, I went ahead and made another little quilt, you know, just kind of improvised and I saw a pattern and I thought, well, I can kind of do something along that line so i will be finishing that baby quilt um and selling it so if you know anybody that's got a baby and has bee bumblebee themed like uh, black yellow and i think it's white black yellow and white i will have that coming up and I guess I need to, um, I do list things on eBay to sell under the same name, My Hobby Home. I do not have a storefront. I just list things to sell because I'm not going to keep a storefront because that, that requires too much. And my stuff is, most of my stuff is going to be uh, one-of-a-kind items, so So no reason to have a storefront because most people that have storefronts have multiple of a certain item I'm not going to have multiples of a certain item unless I do small things now I'm doing eight of these, I believe. And we're at almost an hour already. It, that don't seem right. And I'll tell you, an hour is my sweet spot to give y'all a 20 minute video. Um, because I do edit out my pressing and things like that. So, and being that I did a little moving around with the camera at the beginning. I may do just a little longer than that. So y'all get a full 20 minute video. Because I know if you're sewing along with me, you want a little longer than 10, 15 minutes. And I am not sure how this is going to work out, but please do comment and tell me how you read this pattern. That has me so confused. And like I said, I am still new to this. I, I thought I knew how to read a pattern. But I obviously do not know how to read this one. Because I have yet to figure out how when I cut and I only get six three-inch squares of, of one color and seven of another color, how I'm going to end up with 16 half-square triangles. That math ain't mathing to me. So I, I don't know. But I do think I, I mean, I do know I have had to cut additional fabric for this. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to hold, pause y'all real quick. I got a phone call coming in. Okay, well, I have the first set of eight. This is called the uh, center unit. This is my first set of eight. I know those colors don't even look like they go together. They probably don't. Oh, well. I'm going to cut my light out here so I can talk to you. There we go. But um, that's, that's because I did not know what to grab. Uh, and I was... 
I didn't know how to read that pattern. So if y'all know how to read this pattern or can make better sense out of how many pinks I'm to cut, if they're different designs, to me, that looks like they're different designs. And which it don't matter. It'll look like a scrappy quilt. Does not matter to me. And tell me if you could see the C and G on there, if that made sense to you. I don't know how I'm going to get 16 half square triangles out of six of one color and seven of the other. I don't know. I have not figured that out, but it is what it is. And I'm not worried about it. So, <laughs> but I am going to end us here. We're we're pretty much at an hour right now of sewing and I did get a phone call which kind of distracted me completely and it's almost 10 o'clock so it's time for me to shut it down so I can get this edited and up for you guys for tomorrow so if you have not yet please give me a thumbs up for this video if you like it uh, if you've not yet subscribed please do subscribe I will say that our Whip It Wednesday code word is square. There we go. We're going to say square because we've got us a center unit square right there. And I have my paper here and I have been, oops, got to find my pen though. I've got several, um, words already out there so y'all have to watch the videos to find out what the words are and this is my pretty poinsettia i'm writing that down because i know i will know so i'm whipping the pretty poinsettia this is the one that has been on the back burner um but now with me i'm actually as I called it, smashing the stash. Y'all will be seeing me. I will be doing some smash the stash videos. Um, so y'all just, uh, when you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, leave a comment. Please tell me if I'm reading this pattern correctly or not. I'm probably not. But even as a new quilter or sewer with this, um, I didn't know how to read it. And even now, uh, I'll, let's say I started this, what, June of last year? And this is March, nine months ago, I'm guessing, somewhere around there. Nine months later, I still can't read it. So, <laughs> I need your help. So, please help me. Help me, help me, help me. That's probably what I'm going to title the thumbnail as. <laughs> Um, but yeah, leave a comment. Let me know about that. Or just let me know if you've done this, this pattern also. It's the Pretty Poinsettia. It's an Aria and Ava quilts. It's Bella Rose quilts. This was the Shop Hop. This is the, the front pattern. This was our Shop Hop, uh, quilt that we're making. So a lot of people already have theirs made. I put mine to the back burner because I just could not understand it. And I still can't. But I am pulling it out off of my... I keep it actually over here on... I sit in on top of my sublimation printer. I shouldn't because I, I really need to be working on it. I really need to be getting it done. But... Uh, I'm on clue five. I'm on step one. And I will be doing, and I'm on step two. I'll be doing step two later on. Uh, I may or may not bring it, bring you along with me. But what that is, it's just this same block, just alternating this and this. This square will be up here. This square will be down here. So I may bring you guys along with me. Tonight was just like a really quick sit down. Um, I had to think about what I wanted to do because I've got a lot of projects back here behind me. But I thought, you know, this is another quilt. I would like to get it done. 
I do need to work on my press flowers. I need to see what fabrics I have. So I'm just trying to knock one thing out at a time. And this is something I thought I could come along and try to do. And that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys like this video. But leave me a comment. I do respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Goodbye.